and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Pula back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the best method in Madden right now. As you guys know, EA has just been dropping some pretty banger content lately with the Super Bowl promo part 1, 2, 3, past part 1, 2, present part 1, so you know, they've just been dropping so much good stuff. Now, Super Bowl is officially over, which does mean, guys, that is the last bit of current day content we're probably going to be getting, minus the NFL honors, but technically we know about those already, and those are just presets to drop. So, beyond the NFL honors, and beyond that, the only present day content we're really going to get, which isn't like regular season content, is going to be like the draft the combine but those are off-season content like we're, we're in the off-season now as far as madden goes so still kind of exciting because we do have a lot of content this month if you have not watched my february content preview go check that out we have a ton of content coming to ultimate team this month it's just not going to be regular season type playoff content you guys get what i'm saying but super bowl is over super fun now let's get into one of these last banger methods they dropped they'll probably drop more throughout the year but this is the last regular season type method we got going on so guys, for you to the channel before we get into this video, go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that on bell, boys. We are almost at 19,000. We're about 190 subscribers away. So guys, if you're watching us today, make sure to subscribe, come join the family, you won't regret it. Come join the ride. Comment down below what you guys think of this method, if you have any improvements to it, if you guys have anything else you want to add in the comment sections. And give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 500 likes in this video, guys? You guys have been going crazy with the like button. I probably will be announcing the giveaway winner over on our 1030 video today, so make sure to go check that out. And guys, that's about it. Spam the like button. Noted gang, let me know down below if you're here. And let's get into this video. So, as you know, EA did add another set. And I love these sets. Always the best methods in Madden, as always. Madden Pass, Derek Brooks is the brand new set we're going to be working with here. So, Derek Brooks, Pass Master. Just dropped this yesterday at Super Bowl Part 3. Now, guys, there's the beauty of this one. They actually dropped some usable players in these. So, in the other past ones, Steve Young, you couldn't really use Michelle, Timmerman, or Matthews. You couldn't really use Brandon Graham, Roethlisberger, Malcolm Butler. So a lot of these were kind of just like, I'd rather do the method where you end up making coins with these. Now this one here, the method is going to be a little bit different here because I actually kind of want to keep some of these players. So first off, let's get the basis down. Let's start off with all the math so we can do everything so we're ready to go and we know what we're working with. So first off, June Edelman goes for 239k. You can get it for about 230. Never get the base price it says because that's just what it said. It's early in the morning. Next one, two, so again, 250, it means 240. So 240K, let's add that together. So that leaves us with 470 so far. And then for the final card, we got Malcolm Smith. Now Malcolm Smith goes for about 230. So there we go. Total price for this set is about 700K total. So this can be, this can be multiple things that we can do with this. So first off, Derek Brook goes for about 400K. I checked that before the video started, so I didn't have to waste time and go back to the auction block. So after reduction, you can probably sell them for around 420. For 10 after reduction probably goes for around 380. So for time stake, we're gonna round to 400 k and we can subtract the 20k extra at the end. So 400 k So this set costs you 700 k to do. And this set, unlike the others, you cannot use tickets to get a free player. They did not add that, which makes the set a little bit more difficult. But these cats have more usable players, so I don't mind as much. So let's go beyond that. So first off, method one is where we sell Derek Brooks. It's always how the first method works. So first method we sell Derek Brooks. So we sell Derek Brooks, he goes for about 400 k so you subtract it, that leaves you with approximately 300k difference. So it costs you 300k for all three of these guys. Now in method one, you're just keeping all three players. So method one, you keep all three of them. So first off, an amazing method here, because for starters, Edelman, Lane Johnson, and Michael Smith all go for about 230, 240 each. So you're getting pretty much three of them for the price of one. Solid, solid deal. Now here's the thing, I don't really like Edelman. I think Edelman you definitely want to sell no matter what team you have. So this is why we're going to start focusing on method 2 a little bit more. So method 1 you keep all of them. So for 300k, you end up keeping all of the 3 nat players and you end up with a great return. Lane Johnson is amazing, super usable, as well as Malcolm Smith, both usable cards. So I don't think these are horrible, I think these are both good. Now beyond that, method 2. So method 2 again, 700k, this time you're selling Derek Brooks again, so that leaves you with 300,000 coins, again difference. But this time, this method, you're only keeping Lane Johnson. Okay, you're quick selling June Edelman and Malcolm Smith. Now, the reason you're quick selling both of those is because this method is when you want to just have one of them, but you don't want to pay full price. Because a lot of people want Lane Johnson, but they might not want to pay his ticket price. So the beauty of doing the set this way is that when you do that, 
you're able to get one of the Nat ones for pretty, pretty cheap in comparison. So they go for 25,200 total for Edelman and Macklin Smith. Remember, they do get cut in half because they're Nat, but if you add them back together, it ends up being the full price. So 25,200 training. So 25,200 training goes for approximately about 250,000 coins worth of training. Now, how you convert that training back is all up to you guys. You can go to the store, open up heavyweights, open up flashbacks, whatever you guys deem is the best way to redeem it, but it does go for about 250K. So remember, you're at 300K for method two after subtracting Derek Brooks. Now, you sell Edelman, you sell Michael Smith, and you subtract 250. Let's take out reduction from then, the 20K, you probably end up getting back about 220, give or take, from that training. So that leaves you with 80K. So it costs you 80K to get a 250k Lane Johnson. Again, a solid method, a very solid method. Now this method would be even better if we got one of the Nat players, but we do not get that option like we did the first time. So that's method three. Now method, I mean method two, now method three. Method three is where we see if we can make coins off getting rid of everything. This is one that I've just implemented. So 700k, right? 700k, you subtract Derek Brooks again because you're selling him in this one also. Leaves you with 400k. So now with 400k, you can now sell all of them. So remember, it's 25,200 for, uh, for one, but it's in half. So you gotta cut that in half. So 25,200 divided by two is sit 12.6. So 12,600 training. Now you have three of them. So you times it by three. That leaves you with 37, 3,700 or 37,800 training. Now you times that by about 10, which is the training value, then you take out reduction. You end up with about 330 to 20K worth of training back after everything's said and done. So essentially you could have made 20K. Is it worth it to make 20 to 30K in the set? Probably not, but you guys could if you felt the need to. But it's gonna take a little bit because you gotta convert all the training now. Now method four, method four is where we keep Derek Brooks. Let's see if it's worthwhile to keep Derek Brooks even without a NAT card. So 700K again. So we're back at square one. Now we're gonna quick sell all three of them. All three of them again leaves us with about 330k worth of training. So you're going to subtract 330k worth of training. So that leaves you with 370k for Derek Brooks. So again, this method actually gets you Derek Brooks for like 10 to 15k cheaper than his actual price after reduction. But I don't really deem that as worthwhile because to go through all that work, you're probably better off just buying him. Again, if there was a Nat card that we were given, this set would have been a lot better in terms of that aspect of keeping him. But I think the best thing you could do with this set isn't to keep Derek Brooks. I think it is actually to keep the Nats. So method one, where you get all three of them for 300K, that is a solid one because you get all three of them. And then you can always just take all three of them and then just sell Edelman because I really don't think Edelman is worth it. Edelman has 88 speed. That's done. Like you can't even use that. Players day one at faster speeds than that. I think Marcus Allen was faster than that powered up day one of Madden. But the point is, you can't use Edelman. Way too slow. So I think you just want Lane and Malcolm Smith. But for chemistry reasons and like ability reasons where you could put like bigger chems in like times three boosts and stuff. Maybe you want to keep him as a backup receiver just for overall reasons. Maybe your team's not even that great so you could use him anyways. It really comes down to you guys. But I think method one where you keep all three is the best one. And or tied for the best one with the next method which was where you keep only one or two of them. Now remember that method where you just keep Lane Johnson. You could also keep Malcolm Smith and Lane and just sell Julian Edelman. Which means that you'll probably end up spending about 180k to have um, 180k to keep two of them, or 80k to keep one of them. So it really comes down to so if you want Malcolm and Lane, the set overall costs about 180k total, which is a solid deal for 295s or 80k for 195. It really comes down to it comes down to you. It comes down to what you guys like. But guys, that is about it for the video. I hope this helps you guys out. Now, do I like Derek Brooks? Yes. But the difference between these and the other sets were that in the other sets, we were able to get a Nat player going in there first. So you were able to get one of them for free. So pretty much you could trade in your Nats to make the set cheaper and then work towards a much cheaper overall hero. But in this one, you didn't get Nat players. So it actually kind of doesn't help as much to try to keep the full player. Although if you want Derek Brooks, you could just, oh, you could also do the set and keep everyone for 700K. It's not a bad price to get a 96 and 395s. But I don't think that's the way I'd go. I don't think that's the route I'd end up taking with those sets specifically. But again, at the end of the day, it is all up to you in terms of what you guys prefer to do with your cards. I, like I said, I prefer method one or two. I'm probably going to end up doing it because I do want to have Lane Johnson on my team. Because I do need a new right tackle. And I do currently have Lane Johnson, so I can just power him up. As well as Malcolm Smith. I've been looking for an upgrade over Von Miller for a while. And honestly, it's going to be either him or Derek Brooks. I've kind of been thinking about it. I'd have to put him out of position though. But guys, this is about it for the video. If you are new to the channel, make sure to go down below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn the naughty bell, boys. Come join the family. We're super close to 19K. I'm super excited. I didn't think we'd get this far in the short amount of time, and we have. And then 20K is the next big milestone. So let's keep it going. 
Super hyped for the rest of this Madden season. Gonna keep this all the way going to the end, obviously. Comment down below which method you're gonna be taking. There was quite a few of them. One of them I just added into this video that prior to these methods I did not include. And remember, this one is slightly different because of the pricing without having Nats or House Rules type players. But do with that as you may. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Can we get 500 likes in this video? You guys always go crazy on these videos, so make sure to show some support. If you made it this far in the video, let me know down below in the comment section. I'm out. See you guys in the next video. Peace.